Walk us through your year, pal. I mean, you got a full season uh, of experience under your belt, mostly with you know time with the Indy Fuel, but even looking then, you played nearly as many games in one season in your first full year pro as you did your entire four-year college career. I'd imagine that takes a toll on your body as a young netminder, but it lends a lot of opportunities to grow and improve. How do you assess your season now moving forward? Yeah, that's just it. It was pretty crazy to think about. Uh, that little stat there, but... Um, yeah, it was really good. I obviously developed a ton with playing a lot of minutes. Um, more so learned a lot away from the rink, just kind of being a pro and, you know, being my second year, kind of through a full season, learning all the little things that, uh, you know, take to be successful throughout the course of the year. So um, everything that comes along with just staying healthy and, and being prepared every night and uh, a lot of games, a lot of travel. And um, yeah, it was good, really good for my development. Um, obviously wanted to be here and, and uh, get an opportunity here, but um, you know, considering the, the case, it was a really good year for me and, and learned a lot. What did you learn about yourself? Like you said, it was a lot of off-ice conditioning, just staying, uh, you know, I guess active and, and letting yourself to recover and allow a proper amount of time to recover. Did you see any surprises from yourself throughout the year that you're just like, wow, I didn't know I could handle this amount of work or I couldn't, you know, do this or that? What did you, what did you end up saying, wow, I'm, I'm taking that next step in my progression as a developing goalie? That was a big thing was physically, um, you know, obviously you play the three and threes and uh, down the stretch we were kind of a playoff hunt. And so I was able to play all three of those, something I, um, you know, haven't really done in the past, haven't had a lot of experience doing. So it's tough. I uh, learned a lot as far as, you know, recovery and, and all that stuff. But I think aside from that, the biggest thing was mentally. Uh, obviously, there's all the ups and downs of the year and, and um, you know, the highs and lows. So to be able to, to come to the rink every day and, and kind of leave whatever happened the day before or the week before in the past and just kind of focus on moving forward, playing the next game and, and um, you know, coming back after losses, coming back after bad outings and, and being able to rebound. So um, the big thing for me was mentally and kind of taking on the workload that I did and um, you know, it's like I said, I learned a ton away from the rink as well. But I think the biggest takeaway for the year was was the mental ability to kind of bounce back, stay even keeled and, um, you know, perform consistently. In your conversations with Peter Aubrey and all the experience you just gained, I mean, what's the mentality now moving into the off season? Is it just straight rest and recovery and then dive back in, put the pads back on? Or, or what's the next step to see you continue to improve? Yeah, I think time away is always big. Uh, I think everyone here should be on the same page as far as, you know, taking a couple weeks to themselves and, um, you know, before you start getting back into the grind of the off season. So, you know, I'm going to do exactly that, take a little bit of time to myself, kind of relax, recover after a long season. And, um, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm really looking forward to the opportunity here next year and, and uh, looking forward to having a really good summer, um, you know, taking the next step in my game and, and everything that comes along with, you know, the off-season training, getting ready for the year. So I'm really excited to be back, excited for the opportunity. And, um, yeah, I'm going to do everything I can this summer to make sure I'm ready for camp and, and earn a spot here. And that was going to be my next question is, I mean, how nice is it to have that future already in front of you? You don't have to worry about contracts. You don't have to worry about who am I, where am I traveling, where am I getting a tryout or in a contract with. You know where you're going. You know who your coaches are going to be. You know a lot of your teammates already. That has to put a lot of uh, stress behind you, and you can just focus on stopping pucks. It's exactly that. Yeah, it kind of takes that out of the equation and something that I don't have to worry about going into the off season. Um, it's great to leave here knowing that I'm going to be back in a few months and, um, you know, it makes the goodbyes a little bit easier with, with all the players, all the staff, knowing that I'll see him pretty soon here. So, um, yeah, it's really good as far as peace of mind goes and, um, you know, going home with an objective and a goal and knowing you know, I want to come back here and earn a spot. So it's nice to have that out of the way and, um, you know, just something that I can work towards and know that every day when I'm, you know, training and doing the off season stuff that I, uh, you know, I have the goal in mind of, you know, where I'm going to be and where I hope to be next year. I know you always have your eyes on other goalies and how they develop or what they like to do maybe away from the rink. Obviously, uh, it was a whirlwind of a season for the Rockford Ice Hogs. You had Anton Forsberg, Kevin Lonkin, and Colin Delia. You came up for a little bit as well, and then obviously everything going on in Chicago. I mean, what, what do you, what's your takeaway from meeting with a lot of these guys and, and picking their brains and your experiences and working with them that uh, you might be leaning on uh, some of their experiences now moving forward? Yeah, that's just it. It was fun to watch them. Um, you know, obviously, even being in India, I still follow the team every day. and. and um, you know, obviously, especially with the goalie situation. So uh, there was a lot of numbers this year as far as bodies um, being here and 
Um, you know, not a ton of shake up as far as, you know, compared to last year or, or other teams or whatnot. But um, yeah, it's always good to kind of just watch guys, how they progress, how they deal with certain things. Um, got pretty close with, you know, with a group of guys here, the goalies. And uh, it's, it's always nice to have that and kind of balance things off each other. And, you know, as cliche as it sounds, it's, uh, you know, it's great to be able to do that and, and work with those guys every day and push each other. So, um, you know, it's fun to be a part of here for the last week or so and, and to see those guys again before the summer. But, uh, yeah, it's fun to, to be around those guys. And, you know, they're all true pros. And, um, yeah, it's just great to be around. What does Matt Tompkins like to do to unwind, get away from the game before he's back on the ice, stopping, stopping pucks again? Uh, just the standard stuff. Get home, uh, see family, see friends. Uh, take a little time away from the rink, kind of decompress and try and not to think about hockey as, as much as I can. Uh, it's fun to watch the playoffs and whatnot. And, um, but yeah, just, just taking a couple of weeks just to myself and just relaxing. And um, yeah, like I said, spend time with family, spend time with friends and uh, yeah, just enjoy the quiet time while it lasts because before you know it, it'll be back to training and then getting ready for camp and, and uh, you know, I'll be back on the road heading this way. So.